So this is the special key for Scotty's oatmeal. Trader Joe's everything but Lone Tree seasoning. This one, looking like a grapefruit, but she's tasting like an orange. Oh, hey there. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this week's video, I thought it'd be a really fun idea to do what my family eats in a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, snacks, and of course, dessert. So if you think you can benefit from this video, then keep on watching. <sighs> so we just woke up, it's me and Scotty. Scotty, where are you, bud? Oh, he's over here. So, so far, Scotty's eating two bananas. Um, he usually does that in the morning. He'll go for the banana, it's like an easy snack just to tide them over before I make the hot breakfast. And for hot breakfast, we usually do oatmeal or pancakes. Today we're gonna do oatmeal, and I'll show you how I do that. You wanna help me make the oatmeal? Come here, little man. One, two, three. So this is the yeah. special key for Scotty's oatmeal. We just use original quick oats, you know, nothing fancy. Oh, yeah. Yummy! I'm gonna cut it for you. It's mine. Yeah, it is yours. Let's cut it, okay? No, it's mine. So so far today, Scotty's eating two bananas. There's a mask of bananas, some strawberries, and then we're getting up already. And then the other gremlin is sleeping in. I don't know what's up with him, but maybe he's going through a growth spurt or something. I don't know, but I'm not complaining because holla. This is Scotty's. I'm gonna put like a splash of creamer stuff. Make sure he eats a good, warm breakfast. Even though he's eating strawberries, I'll cut up a little bit more strawberries and put them in there for him. So this is Scotty's breakfast. So I'm actually feeling the whole apple thing this morning for mine. So all I do is cut one side of an apple and then I get my favorite magic tool ever in the kitchen. And I'm gonna chop, chop, chop. And now I'm gonna cook the apples with oatmeal so that the apples get all soft and delicious. So for mine, we just got the apples, and I've got a little bit of cinnamon. <laughs> Mix her up, and call it good. It's my delicious breakfast. This is the best part. Hi, baby. Do you want your boba? <laughs> oh. Hey, hey mister. Hey, mister. Cal? Yeah. Do you want your baba? Baba. Baba. Let's get you a baba. So breakfast for Cal is always milk. He loves his milk. He's always been a booby bottle boy. Another thing that I'm trying to do better is drink a whole cup of water before I eat breakfast. So I'm like halfway done with this one and I'm trying to do that every morning just to like kickstart my body, you know? Now it's time for this gremlin to eat the breakfast. You want a high five? <laughs> high five. What's up, dude? So Mr. Man has some cheese, some strawberries. There was more, but he's an animal, and he's already eaten a ton of them. To be honest, I never really eat a hot breakfast. It's usually cold by now, but that's okay. No big deal, I'm still getting the nutrients I need. meal prepped food. Some people hate the taste of meal prepped food. Sometimes I want something to be fresh, whatever, but most days at lunch, I'm either gonna eat leftovers or I'm gonna eat something that I prepped for the week for lunch. And this week was bean salad, like a Mexican bean salad. Basically it has black beans, avocados, green bell peppers, tomatoes, lemon juice, and this is the key right here, I'll show you. Trader Joe's everything but lote seasoning. This one, that right there is what makes this divide. And I also do a ton of minced garlic. I think I already said that, but minced garlic, so good. 
I'm basically just gonna throw this on top of some spinach and kale, and this might look like I'm super healthy, and I'm not. I'm trying, I'm trying to make better choices for breakfast and lunch, and then when it comes to dinner, I'm gonna eat what the family eats. I'm not gonna make myself a, myself a separate dinner, but I'm just gonna try to eat less of it. Like I'm just gonna try to focus on like portions when it comes to dinner and then really breakfast and lunch is like what I can control the most. And this is really good. I think it's delicious. Del delicious. It has a lot of flavor. So I'm going to scarf this down as fast as I can. The kids already ate at the splash pad so they're pretty full before nap time. They might get a little snack, just kind of depends on whatever they want. But for now, I'm gonna eat. They already ate lunch and I'm gonna try to drink a ton more water. You wanna eat a leaf? No. I don't think you're gonna like it. So we're all done with lunch. It was really good. I'm gonna I'm gonna put the kids to bed, clean up the kitchen. I love making dinner with a clean kitchen. There's just something about making dinner in a clean kitchen. When it's messy, it's like, I don't know, it just makes making dinner stressful, you know? The dinner I am making tonight is like staple in our house. I make it every week. What I like about it is it makes it look like you're super domestic and you're all like, you know, Betty Crocker in the kitchen. It's really easy and it's really delicious, so stay tuned because it's a good one. So we're back in the kitchen. I quickly clean the kitchen and the house. For the most part, I got all the ingredients out, and tonight we're gonna be making quiche. We do it all the time, it's super good. It's like a really good, hearty, you know, hot meal. Oh, I hear a kid waking up. The only thing I'm gonna be doing differently is I'm going to be doing a oil-based crust instead of a butter-based crust because I'm trying to make a little bit of healthier switches, you know, where I can, but the original butter-based crust that I make, oh, it's so good. So I'll show you guys how I do that right now. Everything else is gonna be the same. Like the base of the quiche is the same. It's the same one I always do. It's like a spinach, mushroom, feta, cheddar cheese quiche. It's super, super good. We do it all the time. So I'll show you guys how I do that right now. I'm going to double everything because I want to make two pie crusts. I want to make two quiches. What's nice about making two or just doubling dinner in general is that you can always have leftovers, you know, breakfast or lunch tomorrow, depending on like what you make. So I love doing two. And I'm gonna sift the flour to make sure there's nothing gross in there. This is just an extra step that I feel like is nice to do. See, like, I don't know what that is. What is that? This is why you sift your flour. say right off the bat this is way easier to deal with so just grab half of that okay I'm gonna tell you right now I don't care about getting it over the rim as much as you should also if you are making quiche just so you know you can go to the store and get two already pre-made pie crusts for like a dollar fifty so if you don't want to go th through the hassle of this just go to the store and get some I've done that for a long time and I was like you know what I need to up my game so this is what I'm gonna do instead. So I'm going to be using a KitchenAid for this. You definitely do not need to. You could just whisk it with your hand, but I, it just makes it a little easier and a little faster if I just throw them all in the KitchenAid, whisk them up to a really good consistency, and then put them in. some pepper, onion powder. Okay, we're gonna whisk that up real quick. You don't wanna over whisk it, just basically until you don't see any more, until you don't see any more yolks that are separated. So we should have done this first, but I got a little distracted. We're gonna quickly chop up this onion. Uh, we're gonna chop up this, the mushrooms, a little bit of green zucchini, and a little bit of 
spinach. The recipe that I started out with did not ask for green, uh, did I say spinach? Green zucchini, but I think it adds a little bit to it because there's no meat in this meal. The mushrooms and the zucchini really help to add some sort of like meat-ish texture. We've got the onions. I'm also gonna add some garlic in there too. salt and a little bit more pepper now we're gonna slice up some spinach and that's gonna go first in our pie crust and that is very importante is that the word for important in Spanish I don't know but it sounds right next thing we're going to add is some cheddar cheese now this right here, this is the shining star of today's video. Feta freaking cheese. You're not putting feta cheese on your, you know, scrambled eggs, omelets, whatever. Then what are you even doing with your life? And then there's, you'll get these like big pieces and I'll just break them up with my fingers. You can also, I've done goat cheese before too. That looks freaking delicious. To. I'm gonna try to do half. That's another key is don't Put too much in one pie. So I'm gonna do a little there. I'm gonna go over to this one Do a little there Come back to this guy. Looks like this side needs some now. Let's try to move all the eggy stuff around with the spoon That looks really good. That's like the perfect height not too close to the line. Max is a cheese man. He loves a cheese, so I do top it off with some more cheddar cheese. And he'll even look at this and be like, that's not enough cheese. And to me, I'm like, yes it is. So what's so nice about the quiche is that the base is always the same. You know, if you have the pie crust, and then the eggs and milk and seasonings or whatever, you could add sausage meat, you could add bacon, you could add tomatoes, anything you can think of, you can add it. So that's why I really like this. Very versatile and very easy. It might look like it's hard, but I promise you it's really easy. I don't think I'm a cook, I don't think I'm a baker. If Gordon Ramsay tasted this, he'd probably take one bite and then chuck it across the room. But my family likes it and that's really all that matters. And I like making home cooked meals. It makes me feel good. That's how I show my love to my family. Add this to your list of dinners because I promise you it's really, really good. I need a snack. I really want fruit. I'm gonna have an orange. She's thick, size of my face. No idea what orange this is, what type of orange that is, but it's not normal. That's like looking like a grapefruit, but she's tasting like an orange. What are you trying to play? I forgot I had these and I couldn't resist. Dinner is almost ready. So this wouldn't be real raw and authentic if I didn't show you exactly everything I was eating. Chips are my weakness. If I had dip right now, game over. Okay, they're all done. They look so good. I don't know if I said this before, but you want them to be a teeny bit underdone because when they set, they're going to cook a little bit more. So try, hey, please don't touch my camera. <laughs> like, oh, so because when they set, they're gonna cook a little bit more, but Oh, they smell so good, they look so good. Can't wait to eat them. Hey all, so it's the next day. I forgot to close out of the video that I was doing yesterday, but we ended up having some friends over and eating some ice cream. So that's all we eat in a day. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, give it a thumbs down. Still helps me either way, know what you like. Leave a comment if you want to, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.